The image to the left shows a black and white ruffed lemur. These lemurs are frugivorous, which means that fruit makes up the majority of their diet. This actually works out well for the trees too. When these lemurs poop, they actually plant more trees because there are seeds from the fruit they eat in their poop. Moreover, they are the largest frugivore in Madagascar, and so they can eat fruit with much larger seeds than many other frugivores. This means that many large seeded trees depend on these lemurs for seed dispersal. Black and white ruffed lemurs also act as pollinators. They eat the nectar from the flowers of a tree called the traveler's palm, and when they do so, they get pollen on their face ruff, which is the white fluffy fur surrounding their face that's indicated by the red arrow. Because of this relationship, they are actually recognized as the world's largest pollinator. So between pollination and seed dispersal, this species is vitally important to their ecosystem in the rainforests of eastern Madagascar. Unfortunately, this species is currently recognized by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, or the IUCN, as critically endangered. Deforestation is their biggest threat, and it is caused by many factors. The biggest current cause of deforestation is cavy, or slash and burn agriculture, which has been a part of culture and tradition on the island since human settlers first came to Madagascar roughly 2,000 years ago. In Tavi, the trees on a plot of land are cut down and the land is burned. Then, rice is planted. After the rice is harvested, the land is left uncultivated for many years, allowing native vegetation to grow back. After 20 years or so, the farmer will burn the plot again, releasing nutrients into the soil before planting the next round of crops. While it was once a fruitful method of agriculture, population increases on the island mean that the land is not left untended long enough before being burned once again. This eventually exhausts the land, to where it cannot support crops nor native plant species. This ultimately results in more trees getting cut down and more land being burned. A picture of Tavi is shown in the upper right. Other causes, such as land development for the tourism industry, logging, and mining, all culminate in a very steep rate of deforestation in Madagascar. According to a recent study, only 10% of forests remain compared to the forest's extent prior to human settlement. An image in the lower right shows deforestation in recent years. Losing forest area means losing important sources of food and shelter for these lemurs. Although there are currently some conservation plans in place in Madagascar, they are insufficient and further action must be taken. As we all know, climate change is one of the biggest issues we are currently facing globally. As we continue to face climate change, it becomes increasingly important that we protect what trees we have left and restore that which we have lost. This is because trees sequester carbon, which means that they absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and store it in their trunks. Rainforests play an especially important role in carbon sequestration. Over time, this slows down the accumulation of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which helps reduce the effects of global warming. The loss of the black and white ruffed lemur, an extremely important tree farmer, would be catastrophic for the rainforests of eastern Madagascar. If we wish to maintain the Madagascar rainforest, and if we ever wish to put a stop to climate change, it is imperative that we start with this lemur species. Thank you.